Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take XYZ data and plot it in 3D inside of Microsoft Excel. I'm going to be showing you how to do this with a 3D scatter plot like you see here with rotations. I'm also going to be showing you how to do this with a 3D surface graph, also with rotations, all inside of Microsoft Excel. Okay, so what application are we going to be using to do this? We're going to be using XYZ Mesh. And all that you need for this is your XYZ data. XYZ Mesh will do all the work for you, converting it over into whatever formats you need and filling in the empty data points as well. So first off, let's go ahead, select our data. I already have some data here for the surface graph. Highlight your X, Y, and Z, which is our latitude, longitude, and elevation and we're just going to copy this over. Now once the application is opened up, all you have to do is right click in the input area and paste your data in. And as you can see, we now have our data plotted for us inside of XYZ Mesh. Now this is currently not a mesh graph, a surface graph, but we can very easily make it into one by clicking Convert XYZ into Excel Mesh. And as you can see, our graph is now converted over for us and all of our data is filled in. So all those empty data points, just those 500 data points turned into all those. And we can export this directly into Excel. Go to Excel 3D Export, select whatever graph you want, a surface graph, a wireframe, a contour, anything that you'd like it to be, and then hit Export to Excel. We now have a new document right here with the surface graph plotted for us. If you want to rotate it, all you have to do is right click, go to 3D rotation, and you can rotate this inside of Excel. So what if you have 3D scatter plot data that you want to plot? All you have to do is copy your data over, same thing as we did before. So here is a series of data. I'm going to zoom in so we can see it. It's just some scientific data that we have plotted that we need to show in a 3D scatter plot. Let's go ahead, copy our data over, go back to XYZ Mesh, and then we are going to clear out all of our data by updating the row count and then right click and paste. Now we have our data plotted in here and let's change up the values just a little bit to make it easier to plot. You can do that by increasing the decimals or decreasing them which will change how the data is plotted. Now that we have it formatted correctly, Excel 3D export and we can pick either scatter plot or a line. Let's do a 3D scatter and that is it. Our data is now exported into Excel with all of the options for zooming, rotating, panning, and even adjusting the planes so we can easily see where our data is located at. Okay, thank you all very much. If this was helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. And also, XYZ Mesh download link is listed below in the description. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or email our support. Thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day. Hi, I'm Kyle, owner and operator of Great Technical. Thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot, and it lets me know that the content I'm making is stuff that you all like to see. Go ahead, leave us a comment as well. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future. I would also like to say that being a company owner, I am very proud to be able to support businesses and students. I am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators. So if you have a content platform, you make videos, or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content, or if you would like to review some of our products, go ahead and send me an email. My email is right here, support at greattechnical.com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.